YouTube channel art's always a challenge for those who are new to YouTube or just plain find it hard to use uh, artwork tools to make decent looking channel art. Well today, we're gonna look at how you can make channel art using Canva, the free online tool you can use in a web browser or on a mobile device. Stick around. G'day, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and we're here to help you with tech for content creation. And today, as I said, we're gonna be looking at Canva, but specifically how you could do your channel art using Canva Online. You can use your app on your mobile device, whether it's an iPhone, Android device, iPad, whatever it might be. But today I'm gonna to show you how to do it using the online via the browser. If you haven't checked out Canva, there's a link in the description below so you can check out Canva yourself. Uh, it's free to try. There's paid options as well, but make sure you check it out because it's an awesome online tool for doing your channel art, your thumbnails, all that sort of thing for YouTube. So let's get right into it. Well, I'm already at the Canva login page here. So uh, if you haven't already signed up for Canva, make sure that you uh, sign up and this is the page where you would do so. Now let's get into it. I'm just gonna log in first of all. Now I've logged in because I'm already a user of Canva. I can see some of my past uh, artworks here, including my thumbnails, mostly thumbnails here. I've even got my channel art here. So if you're starting from scratch, what you want to do, firstly do is go create a design up here. And it's going to ask you if you want to do certain things like YouTube channel art, or you can go up here and use custom dimensions. Now the dimensions that are recommended for YouTube, we can see here on the YouTube uh, create or edit channel art on the YouTube help. We scroll down to here. The recommended upload size is 2560 by 1440. So 2560 by 1440 pixels. And if we go back over to Canva, you can see that the YouTube channel art default size that they have is exactly that. So we can click on that or we can go up to use custom dimensions. So I'm going to go and put I'm going to use custom just because I'm showing you a method that might help you with the layout of your artwork. So now it's going to generate a page that we can start editing. What it's going to do is give me a blank canvas for that perfect size. So why is it giving me a canvas this size? Well, the reason why it's giving a canvas this size is because it appears differently on different devices. It can be quite short and cut in on a mobile device. It's a bit wider on a browser. If you're on a TV, it's closer to the full size that we're looking at here on the screen. So you've got to be able to do a piece of artwork that fits all those at the same time. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add official YouTube template to this. So I've got a set of guidelines to use. So in my upload, here is the official YouTube artwork here. So I'm just going to drag it out so it actually fits. So you can see here it says TV up here in the corner, which means it's going to use the whole screen. We've got text and logo safe area. This is the area that we want all the vital information to fit into. This darker square here and this broader area is for tablets and this fully wide area here is for what's called desktop max and maximum width. Uh, that actually shows on a desktop on a browser. This top and bottom part is only ever seen on TV, so you just want something that's, you don't want to put any information in those areas. First thing I want to do is maybe get it, find a background for it. So what I'm going to do is go to Elements and look for an interesting photo uh, series that we can use to overlay and be like the whole background area. What it's actually done is it's actually, our uh, camera's a bit niggly like this. It's actually replaced my template picture that I've put on there. So I'm gonna have to throw that back on as, as my guideline. So it's still behind there, but we'll work with this. I've got the picture in the background. One thing, I, other thing I wanna do is maybe add uh, a shape. Cause what I actually wanna do is put like a color gradient over the thing. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna come come back to that now I don't want the blue maybe let's go for a tech channel with a green theme I don't know what color green I want so let's well let's let's try this let's come up to the transparency tool 
and see if we can bring that down just bring in some of the background picture maybe green's just not my color we've already got the transfer so maybe we can try different colors here maybe we'll go with this movie purple here all right let's go with that for now okay again i want to bring this in because at some point i need to see where i'm working in regards to the guidelines and what we can do is move that to the back now that will go behind the purple we can sort of just see through it there which is fine for now all right next thing we want to do is let's add some text okay we need a name for this channel this is a fictitious channel so i'm just going to grab some text here first of all i have access to a large group of fonts so maybe this will look for a, like a technology font I'm not sure if the black is going to be, end up being the color but what we can do is make it a little bit bigger there uh, we can grab it and drag it now you can see i want to fit it in here so what i can do is i probably want to center it seeing stuff's going to get cropped on mobile here and here or there and there on tablet and so forth so i'm just going to make it uh white at the moment just so for e ease of reading i haven't got a name for this channel let's call it purple tech that could work and what i could want to we could go all caps i'm just gonna leave it okay purple tech and then maybe we want to put like another again i'm going to make it white just for ease of reading but you can you can play around with colors and stuff so we, maybe this is going to be like what's our our catch cry our motto our creed for our actual chat purple tech all tech all purple all the time <laughs> just something random okay you can see this sort of adjusting as we go and that sort of nearly fits cent centered there uh, is that centered canva tends to help you click things in place for centering uh, against other objects and on the page itself and you can see we've got this space to work with so maybe we'll pull that down there a bit what i can do is i'm just gonna so at the moment it's going to look a bit like that obviously the color of the text is probably going to change i've just pulled the guidelines out of the way to see what it looks like probably want to add, maybe add some imagery as well maybe I can, i've got something we can use i can throw a camera in the side here which maybe it'll it'll help fill out the the uh, desktop area it may not fill out uh, in mobile but that's okay if we have the mobile cutoff in here somewhere it can be something that the, the browser people see So, so that's starting to tell me that if this this purple tech channels may have something to do with uh, cameras dslrs or or photography maybe it doesn't maybe that's not right maybe we need to give it something else maybe it's all about tech tech maybe it's all about technology for doing twitch purple tech uh, maybe maybe not if you want to look slick maybe you can throw on some like ipads but I could stick them out here so it's part of the the browser section but not part of the the mobile cutoff which means again I can do also do that with the camera this is not expertly this is just throwing something together to give you the concepts if you're using Canva you still need to make sure that things fit the framing for the various platforms which is the key this is sort of the gist of what I did back way back when in that other video where i did youtube channel art using gimp it's basically the same concept is you got to consider the layout and where things go to fit so again we've got this going on and let's again move so that sort of gives us sort of that idea and at this stage you've got an idea of roughly where all the lines are mentally in your mind now with that actual background that text as white sort of blends in a bit so maybe Now it looks a little bit intense so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the bottom text i'm going to maybe just put some transparency on it just to dull it down a bit leave that on my favorite setting which is about 70. seems to work well for text just because the text can start start to look a little bit plain there you can throw in like a drop shadow you say well how do you do drop shadow on canva well, a little trick of mine is 
Okay, I want to say I want to do the drop shadow on purple tech here, and I'll go copy. So it makes another copy of the purple tech, so I selected the new copy. Then I'm going to maybe change it to white, and then I might apply that 70% transparency, puts it there, and you can see it's in front, so what I'm going to do is push it back, so it's just behind the text, and then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard just to maneuver it in place to give it that sort of white depth there it starts to give it like a, a bit of shadow or a bit of a bit of pop so it pops out of the screen a little bit so let's just leave it like that for now so then we've got an interesting uh, channel art cover already so if i was to throw that into a channel if i was to save and download that i would end up with uh, this for tv we know that our guides there we know that our, our mobile cutoff is about here and here so these pictures will only show on browser at the moment we've got this it's very simple it says all tech all purple all the time it communicates some basics about the channel it doesn't maybe communicate everything maybe we could add onto that a uh, upload schedule or a live stream schedule maybe we could add something a little bit more specific about what tech we're talking about one thing about channel art and even thumbnails for that matter is you can start to if you start to add too many elements it starts to get um, overdone so just be careful that you don't overdo things like I could throw in more pictures like, like, like I have with the camera, the iPads, and that might just look really cluttered. It could get cluttered really quick. So even I think this um, these iPads are a bit uh, myself. So, you know, I could throw in uh, like an Apple TV. It could be like technology. Maybe I'm doing t home technology. So there's Apple TV and remote. So I do, you know, people at home that best a lot of people have cameras they do a bit of photography and i've also got apple tv so it's like a home entertainment uh, photography style channel maybe uh, so i could do that the thing you might notice here is there's not a lot happening on top and bottom that's why we just did a basic background with a bit of a gradient or a bit of a um, transparency there just to, 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 to make it look interesting enough so it's on tv it's not just like black bars or something like that because that can look a bit a little bit crazy what I could have done is added another another shape box here. I could like go and add that right to there. You might see what I'm doing here. Obviously the color. I might want to use the solid purple for that part. Uh, I, I think I might go if I go the like if I go the gradient all the way down to zero, it's like it's not there. And don't forget, it's already on top of a, a, a purple box. It already has some gradient, so I'm effectively uh, adjusting like a gradient again. So I could get, I could do that. That could, that could look okay. So I've got like a slightly purplier color for the main banner part, and then everything else just allows that picture to see through a little bit more for those using the TV view. Yeah, I could uh, fiddle with this all day, but we're gonna leave it as that for now. So what I do now is this, because Canva saves it as it goes, you can see all changes are saved. At this point, I can decide to download that. So I'm going to download that. PNG is a great uh, format to use. So it's a recommended one. I stick with that. Uh, YouTube is very happy with that indeed. So I'm going to click download with that. And that's going to prepare the image for downloading. And there it is, just downloaded and opened up a preview for me. If I was to use it on a real channel, I'd probably do a little bit more work to it, tighten it up a bit and do different things like that. But that's a, that's a piece of channel art that you can now upload to, to YouTube. Okay, I've loaded up my dummy account where I've got, uh, where I do experimentations and use it for these sorts of tutorials. And what I'm going to do is update this channel art. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the camera going to select the file from the computer we're going to find that purple the lovely purple of purple tech probably going to be there purple the purple stands out against all my blues now it's going to upload and you can see there's my little little sample there so it shows me how it's going to look roughly on the different different devices there we happy with that so let's go select and in a second you'll see it pop in the top there on the banner and there it is that's how it looks now i can uh, probably throw up on the screen in a second what it looks like on say a mobile device well as you can see canva is a nifty tool for doing your channel art in particular 
And if you want to get a hold of that template that I used to look at the layout, there's a link in the description below that takes you straight to that YouTube help page that actually has a copy of that file that you can download and use yourself. Well, if this video was interesting or helpful to you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, whether it's a YouTube related or content creation related, make sure to subscribe and check that bell so you don't miss any video that I might post in the future. Well, this is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube, and I'll catch you later.